How to help when your child needs a needle poke. Six-year-old Sam was sick and his parents were worried, so they went to the emergency department at their local hospital. The doctor told them Sam would first need to get a needle poke, and Sam is really scared of the poke. In healthcare settings, they use pokes for many things, including vaccinations, blood work, giving medications, or fluid through an IV. It had been a long time since Sam had a poke, and his parents wanted to make Sam more comfortable. The nurse told them there are lots of ways to reduce children's stress before and during a poke. She suggested they play a game, listen to music, sing a song, or blow bubbles. She told them there was enough time to use numbing cream, which will make the needle feel more like a gentle push instead of a poke. Numbing cream is a great option, but make sure you ask for it early on because it takes about 30 to 60 minutes to work. If your child becomes restless while waiting, try reading a book together. How do you reduce stress with infants? When Sam was younger, his mom found that breastfeeding was a great way to soothe Sam before and during a poke. And after Sam finished breastfeeding, the nurse gave Sam a pacifier with sugar drops. Holding your child may also comfort them. You can try the bear hug, place them on your lap facing you, or try the kangaroo hold, turn them around and hug them around the waist. Before the needle poke, the nurse will clean the skin. It will feel wet and cold, but not for long. As a parent, it's important to be calm and positive. Don't say sorry. Your child might think that something bad is happening. If they want to know more about what's happening, give them open and honest answers. You can also tell them it's okay to cry. If your child is getting an IV, once the poke is done, the needle comes out. It does not stay in your child's arm or hand. Your child may feel sore for a little while or have a bruise. Here are five things to consider for the next time your child needs a poke. If there's time, ask for numbing cream early on in the visit, at least 30 minutes before the poke. Try distractions before and during the poke, playing games, singing songs, listening to music, or blowing bubbles. Hold your child during the poke. Sit them on your lap facing towards you or away from you with your arms around their waist. Be calm and use encouraging language. Don't say sorry. If you have a question or need help, ask the doctor or nurse. And if your child is an infant or a baby, you can try breastfeeding or bottle feeding, or sugar drops followed by a pacifier. A comforting hold or distraction will also help. And you can also use the numbing cream. The nurses, doctors, and healthcare team are all there to help make it a positive experience for you and your child. It's okay to ask them for help or advice.